What's up sports fans and welcome to the Sports Shack hosted by well usually I say Jay Kerr but he's not here today uh, he, he'll be gone for a week or two uh, he threw out his back he's having back problems that's what he told us uh, our cameraman thinks he's in Las Vegas but so usually Jay Kerr and myself Buddy Burns right now we're gonna get into something we like to call hot topics and the hottest topic right now is the NHL Eastern Conference and we're gonna well I'm gonna break it down so let's start off with uh, the first uh, the, the top seed against uh, number one seed against number eight seed which is uh, the Washington Capitals number one seed versus the New York Rangers number two seed uh, number eight seed uh, in that series um, I know a lot of people are leaning into Washington and they think just because Washington's got Ovechkin and Backstrom and uh, Semin and uh, and Kanubel, who's a big body. I actually think uh, the Rangers can pull this one off. I think the Rangers win. All due to the fact that they got Lundqvist. And he's the man. The team's starting to play good. I can see Avery causing shit to stir up Ovechkin to get underneath his skin. I'm not going to say he's good, but... For them to win, Ovechkin has to be on the ice all the time. And if he's on the ice, believe me, Tortorella is going gonna, is gonna to make sure that Avery's at his best. He doesn't even have to say much. Just uh, a pat on the back and the guy knows what to do. As much as I hate the guy, he's going to be a big factor in this series. You watch and see. Okay, now moving on to the, to the second uh, matchup, which is uh, Philadelphia uh, Flyers against Buffalo. Uh, a number two seed against a number seven seed. In, uh, in that series, as much as Buffalo has, uh, has Ryan Miller, and Ryan Miller, that's all you have to say, Ryan Miller. If you, uh, if you watch NHL hockey, you know what that guy's capable of doing when you watch the Buffalo games. He steals games for their, for their team. But he's facing up against the Flyers. And the Flyers got a great arsenal of players. We're talking the Captain Richards, Carter... Um, G-Rock, which uh, that's what I like to call him, G-Rock, uh, Claude Giroux. Uh, I don't know about their goaltending. Their goaltending is iffy, but I see those players, and Progner will be back not the first game, but he will be back by the second or third game, and that will be huge for them. So I see, I see Philly uh, just... Roll, not rolling over them, but I see Philly uh, winning in that series. Okay, now moving to the, the third seed against the sixth seed, which is uh, the Boston Bruins against the Montreal Canadiens, Le Habitants. Well, our cameraman right now is one of the biggest Boston Bruins fans I've ever met. And I know a few Boston Bruins fans. This guy is a true, true Bruins fan. Chirping in your ear every two seconds. Hey, bet on the Bruins. Hey, bet on the Bruins. But this is not the reason why I'm going against them. Because if anybody who really knows me knows, I'll just, when it comes to that, I'll, 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 I'll be all over it. But in this case, that's not the, it's, it's not the case. I'm actually going, well, it is. I'm going with the Habs just for one reason. I think the Habs can take these guys. The way they've been playing, the, the Montreal Canadiens, they've been playing fantastic going into these playoff, uh, the, these past couple of 10 games in the season. Corey Price is standing on his head. Now saying now, now talking about Corey Price, I mean Carey Price, sorry, Carey Price, you got Tim Thomas. Two of the, the top goalies in the league, arguably, going for the Vesna. Um, and Boston has a few, uh, a few tough players, Milan Lucic, Horton, uh, Chera, they got a, a next leaf, Caberlet. But for that, for that same reason, uh, saying Caberlet, they, they think that that's the piece. And Caberlet is not going to do what they think he's going to do. So basically, I'm taking the Habs in that series. So... Okay, now moving on to the the fourth and uh, versus the fifth seed, which is Pittsburgh against uh, Tampa Bay. 
Well, in this series, no Sid the Kid, I don't care what time he's coming back. He's not going to be the same uh, player that he was last year or uh, earlier on in the season. So right there, he's coming back, and that's a liability for the team for next year. So I don't know if he's going to be back. No Malkin. I don't see uh, Stahl and uh, the players they got. Even with Fleury playing hot, I don't see them doing much against Tampa Bay with you got Stamkos, 45 goal scorer. You got uh, Saint Louis, uh, 68 assists. Uh, you got Vinny Cavier, uh, 25 goals, and he missed a few games. Uh, these guys are Tampa Bay's loaded. Tampa Bay's loaded. Their 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 goalie is iffy, but I see them uh, beating Pittsburgh. So I'm going with uh, Tampa Bay Lightning over uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. So to uh, Rephrase everything, uh, I got uh, New York Rangers to beat Washington, I got Philly to beat Buffalo, I got Montreal to upset the Bruins, and I got Tampa Bay, which ain't a, a long stretch, but Tampa Bay against uh, Pittsburgh. That's it for the Eastern Conference. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, check out our uh, our eBay account. We say it, we play it.